Hi, this is Deborah Dixon Kendall with Living with Lupus Online Video Magazine. Tonight we're going to talk about a little bit about lupus and pregnancy. Okay, so I got I received an email and it was asking me about um, being pregnant with lupus. So what were you know the complications and you know how I felt about it? I guess uh, is what they want to know. Well. I have five children. I have five children. And they were very successful births. What I did with my pregnancies and everything, I made sure that I ate healthy. I was not taking any lupus medication while I was pregnant with them. Um, I did not drink alcohol or smoke or anything like that during my pregnancies. Um, I don't drink alcohol. I might smoke, but I don't drink, and I don't even smoke as much as I used to, so it's really, you know, kind of, I'm, I'm about ready to quit, I think, you know, because it's really, I've really cut back a lot. Um, anyways, yeah, I took my vitamins, I took my iron, I ate fruits, I ate vegetables, I ate protein foods. I didn't eat any red meat. Um, I didn't eat any pork or anything like that during my pregnancy. And the reason why I didn't, because my, as my children were growing and everything was inside of me and stuff, I, you know, noticed that they kind of push on other organs, you know? because they're growing inside of your body so you, your body needs room for them to grow in and red meat and all those other things just they didn't set well with me when i was pregnant anyway so i just couldn't eat them i could not eat them i i don't know how anybody else feels or what they went through during their pregnancy. Not everybody's pregnancy is the same, just like not everybody's lupus is the same. So you can have somebody who has lupus and carry their children and eat everything under the sun, okay? Then you can have somebody who has lupus and they can't eat nothing at all during their pregnancy. You know, the only thing they could do is drink a lot of liquids, make sure they take their vitamins, you know, um, and then they end up taking uh, liquid um, fruits and vegetables a lot. You know, not recommended. I don't recommend it at all. I recommend that you actually eat. Okay. Um, every single one of my pregnancies were totally different. With my first one, I definitely couldn't eat. Well, with all five of them, I could not eat meat. It just made me really, really sick. I couldn't even go into a store. So, like, I, I, when I was having children, I lived in Florida, okay, Tampa, Florida. And I would go to the store, and they had meat markets where they had butchers inside the meat markets. You remember those? Those, those were really cool. But during my pregnancies, oh, my goodness, I could not even fathom going to the store. So I would have to get somebody else to go grocery shopping for me. Because there, you know, I just could not, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. You know, like I said, not everybody's pregnancies are the same, okay? And if you had a pregnancy like I am describing and everything, then you, you obviously know that any of those smells or anything like that kind of got to you. And when we get nauseous, you know, and we're pregnant, it is kind of a violent nauseous okay that means we're going to regurgitate pretty violently and everything but it took me the first time that i actually went into a um store that had a butcher market in there it was a meat butchering market inside the same place and everything and um i forgot where it was at but i go back home i can guarantee you i can go right to the place and know exactly where it's at okay I've been there in about maybe about 11 years okay but regardless of that 
the, the whole point is, is that you just be careful about where you go, what you do when you're pregnant. And everything. Cautious about what you put into your body. You don't want to put any alcohol, no drugs of any type, whether it be prescription or non prescription, okay, during your pregnancy. Now, there's a lot of things that can happen to a child during the pregnancy, okay? So you're pregnant and you want a healthy child, take care of yourself as if it were you. And it is you. It really is you, okay? So you want to make sure you eat healthy. You want to make sure you drink plenty of water. Make sure that you, you know, don't take any alcohol. Don't take any drugs of any type, whether it be your lupus medication or not. But before you stop taking that lupus medication, make sure you speak to your doctor. Sit down with your doctor. Tell your doctor that, hey, I want to have a child. I want to know this, that, and the other about, you know, being pregnant and having lupus. You can have a successful pregnancy and have lupus. There's nothing wrong with having a child while you're, you know, with lupus. Now, with that said, with my first three children, I had no flare-ups whatsoever. Okay? Was it the first three? It was the first two. I had no flare-ups. The second, the third, and the fourth one, I had major, major, major flare-ups, and it was not a pretty sight. Okay, um, got the rashes, and um, what else did I have? I had the rashes. I didn't sleep well. I didn't eat a lot because it kind of made me nauseous just to think about eating. But they were good pregnancies, regardless. You know, I drank a lot of water. I made sure that I made every single one of my doctor's appointments. And if anything happened in between time, I went to the doctor to make sure that everything was going well. Now, with my last pregnancy, that was a different story. Okay? Because the first half of it was fine. The first half was where it really, really, it was really good, okay? Um, so, the first six months, I did great. No nauseousness, no, you know, anything. I slept well and stuff like that. But when it came down to um, the last term of my pregnancy, I did have some issues because I had a major, major flare-up. Now, when you have a major, major flare-up, that means your entire body starts swelling for no reason whatsoever. Okay? Um, I got edema. Um, I ended up being anemic. Uh, let me see what else happened. Oh my gosh, my feet swelled up so big that I ended up on bed rest. And I, you know... Actually, it was for four, four months, I ended up on bed rest, which was not I was sick every single day, you know, even though the beginning, I mean, you know, you have your normal, excuse me, your normal sicknesses during pregnancy and everything, you know, your nausea and stuff like that, but it got really bad during the last part of my pregnancy, you know, but I survived. Yeah, I, I did eat a lot of fruit then. I couldn't really put down a lot of vegetables, but I ate a lot of fruit with him. Um, major water. <laughs> it's like I was always thirsty, you know. But I, I knew I was having a flare-up. I, I wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that I wasn't expecting because of the second and third pregnancies. You know, so when it went smoothly the first few months and everything, I was fine. Like I said, got to that last um, term and everything going into the last term. I started getting really, really sick, started swelling up. Doctor had to put me on bed rest. Um, I couldn't breathe. But then he was a nine-pound baby. <laughs> he was nine pounds, one ounce. 
so that kind of, you know, tells you just kind of what, what, what I went through. My first um, one was seven pounds, seven ounces. The second two, the second and the third one were eight pounds even. Then I had an eight pound, 16 ounce baby, which is actually nine pounds, right? And then nine pounds, one ounce. Now, would I do that again? Yeah, I would have those again. I love my children. They're beautiful, yeah. <laughs> my children are beautiful. Um, like I said, there's, you know, no problems having a child while you have lupus. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't have a child and have lupus because that is just not true. You're not going to lose them, you know, unless something major is going on. Um, I don't know what happened to a couple of my children because I, I was pregnant more than more than five times and uh, a couple of few of them I spontaneously um, aborted. So something the body does and not everybody does it. And I, I mean everybody. Not every woman that gets pregnant will spontaneously abort when they have lupus. You know, I, I always thought maybe that there was, you know, that that's just your body's way of rejecting something that's not going to be right. Yes, I have a hard time talking about this. Mm -hmm. I sure do. But, on the brighter note, if you decide that you want to get pregnant and you do have lupus, make sure that you talk to your doctor, okay? You're not going to be the first or the last person on this earth to be, to have lupus and to be pregnant at the same time. Just, it's all in the way that you care for yourself. My suggestion is to make sure that you have a discussion with your spouse or your significant other. And you have a discussion with your doctor. And you let your doctor know what your concerns are. And they will help you get into the place where you need to be. Now, it is really super, super duper important that you take the vitamins okay I think they're called prenatal vitamins now did they have prenatal vitamins back then I don't know I just took my vitamins I took vitamins and iron I made sure I took everything that I was supposed to take uh, you would have to increase your uh, vitamin D and your vitamin E uh, while you are pregnant and I believe that it was the calcium that I also increased, okay, because your bo your body does become a little bit brittle and everything while you're pregnant. So, but that's a natural pregnancy as well. Just a regular normal pregnancy is the same thing. If you take the prenatal vitamins and iron that they give you, make sure that you eat your fruits and vegetables, your proteins, um, cut out the carbs because they'll help expand you more than you need to, you know, found that out on the third pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, blew up like a balloon. Carbs, that girl loves carbs too. She does. She does. She loves carbs. You know, that's my third pregnancy, so. <laughs> Beautiful girl though. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a mama. All right, I'm telling you that because it's true. Anyway, if there's anything that I have said that has resonated with you, if you've heard something that you like, leave a comment. Hit like. If you heard something that you didn't like and you don't agree with, it's okay. You can hit dislike and you can leave me a comment. And if you don't want to leave a comment, in the comment box listed below, then 
shoot me an email. You know, I don't have a problem with criticism at all. Okay? I could take it. I really can. And, you know, hey, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I don't have a problem with it. Okay? Not everybody that has lupus goes through the same ordeal. They don't have the same journey at all. Everybody takes a different path on their journey. If you just want to ask a question but you don't want to ask it in the comment box, feel free, you know, to send me an email. The email address is livingwithlupusmagazine at gmail.com. Okay? Um, anytime. I'm always here. You know, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now, so you know that I'll be up here talking to you. And, um, I just don't have a problem talking to you about anything. Now, what took me so long to do this today? Because I have a lot on my plate, y'all. Okay, <clears throat> remember I told you all a couple of days ago that I was planning an event here, and if you were going to be in the area of Fayetteville, North Carolina, I would like you to come and just hear me speak about lupus, just a little bit about lupus, you know. I'll be discussing what lupus is, okay, the causes, and I can't really say the causes. I can define, specifically define what lupus is, okay. I will give you my story. That's all I can do. You know, tell you what I did to get where I am today. Um, answer any questions that you may have. And I'm trying, you all. I am very much trying to get a little fashion show going for y'all. Just, just a mini one, just a little tiny one. You know, because... Hey, I want you all to feel good about yourself. I'll have uh, somebody there that'll be, you know, talking about the hair, the skin, and the nails, and everything. And um, you might get a little skin makeover or something, you know, something just to make you feel better, feel good about yourself, make you look beautiful. Because I know for myself, if you all see me without makeup on, You'll be like, okay. Mm -hmm. I cover it up very well. Sometimes I may not cover it up so well, but I do my best. <laughs> I do my best because I have little rosy cheeks just like y'all. <laughs> I have this little thing going on, you know, and I don't want everybody to see it all the time. You know, sometimes I just walk out of the house, I don't really care. You know, because I'm just going to the store and I'm kind of right back. But, you know, we had a slow time. Anyways, if you like what you heard, hit like. If you don't like what you heard, hit dislike. If you think there's something that you want to add or questions you want to ask, leave a comment. If you know someone who has lupus and they're struggling a little bit with it and everything, they're trying to figure it out, and, um... They're just having some questions. Hey, share these videos with them, okay? Share the page, you know? Let them know there's somebody here on YouTube that's actually talking about, you know, what they've gone through, and it sounds a little bit like what you went through. So I think that you need to listen to it just a little bit, you know? Hey, I'm not going to force anybody to listen to me, you know? But... I'm, I am going to force myself to come on here and talk to you about lupus. Now, if you talk back to me, that would be wonderful because I love hearing from people. If not, that's fine. Anyway, the event is going to be on December the 5th, 2015 at 300 Maiden Lane, downtown Fayetteville, North Carolina. It's going to be in the paint room. Okay? So if you are in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area, come out. Join us. Okay? 
We'll have a great time. I'm pretty sure you will. You know, um, I'm going to have somebody talking about a little bit about the digestive system and, you know, some of the things that we can do to help help keep ourselves a little bit healthy during, you know, our time that we need to be healthy. Okay? So, if you're interested and you want to come out, come on out. Come out and meet me. If you get my book, you can order it online at Amazon.com. Okay, it's called Living with Loop. It's my personal journey. I'll even find it for y'all. Okay, so let me know. I can't wait to see you. Okay, this is Deborah Dixon Kinzer with Living with Loop. It's online video magazine, and I want you to know no matter how far you go on your journey, no matter the things that you run into, or even the issues that you have. Just know that you are not alone on your journey living with lupus. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon.